What is up, everybody? Welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy VIII. In the last recording session, I was actually recording this, and I recorded about two hours of it, and it was failed. Yes, yes, much very failed. And let me tell you why. Uh, remember my squirrel Johnny, who happened to show up in Episode Seven of Pokemon White? Well, guess what? Somehow, he managed to uh, show up in the entirety of this last recording session of Final Fantasy VIII. So yeah, um, went to edit my audio, went to edit some Final Fantasy VIII. I'm like, all right, I'm gonna put some Final Fantasy VIII up. It's gonna be great. I recorded two good hours. Blah 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 blah. But no. I put the audio in Vegas, entire thing, squirrel voice. Yep, you can imagine how pissed I was. Luckily, the way I save this game, I don't save over the first file I started recording with, so I can come back here pretty easily, so there you go. So these guys, they're talking about, uh, what is his name, Wedge? The guy who walks around gathering information for us? Apparently, he walks around in a cadet uniform. Ooh, they're talking about us. No, we can't just go up to anybody and... And the guy walks away. Just... We can't inflict any... How dare they try to kidnap the president, sir? Not only is it disrespectful to the president, sir, but also to us Cobaldian soldiers as well, sir. I'll be sure to find them and throw their sad behinds in jail, sir. Well, there you go. I love how it just leaves his text box up, too. It's like It just emphasizes the fact that he was in the middle of a sentence telling them exactly what not to do, and they just went and exactly did that. Please hear me out to the very end. God help my soul. That poor guy, he just wants to be a good guy. But anyway, nonetheless, uh, suffice it to say I made sure my audio wasn't by chance a squirrel before I started this recording. So there you go. Anyway, look at this, we're back at Timber. Timber! So, um, remember how I said I used to call Galbadia, Galbaldia? Galbaldia? Um, well, I actually called it that up until my most recent playthrough. And, um, the thing that made me actually realize that it was Galbadia is, the first thing was this train station right here, right there, those big letters, because every time I saw it in somebody's text, I just kind of ignored it. But then when I saw it in those big letters and I was reading it, I was like, what the balls? Why isn't there an L there? And then, sure enough, I started looking at other people's texts, and it was like, nope, Galbadia. And it sucks. Hard habit to break. It's kind of like that thing. It's like, um, what was that? Arceus? The god Pokemon? And then how the movie came out, and they said his, they pronounced his name Arceus? And, or Arceus, or whatever, and I'm like, what? No, that's the, I'm sorry, but that's the stupidest thing I've ever heard. Even the Japanese spelling of Arceus, it's spelled A-R-S-E-E-U-S, I think, so it's Arceus. How can you change that to Chaos or Chaos? You can't do it. No. And Arceus sounds a million times cooler. Anyway, when we make it back to Timber here, we can go to the pet shop. And, uh, by the way, it was kind of funny how they left uh, Watts behind there. It's just kind of funny. The train left without him. And anyway, we can buy Pet Pals Volume 3 and Volume 4. Now, what do these do? Well, these magazines actually um, give Renoa new limit breaks with Angelo. So it teaches him new moves she can use. I probably... Was it uh, cutting out there in the thing? I sure hope not. Because it was doing that. I tried to record this a second ago. And uh, before I even started recording, it was cutting out. You know, like that one time it did in the training center? Totally weird. So I hope it doesn't do that again this time, because that leaves for some major desync, and it's very hard to repair. But anyway, yeah, yeah, like I said, I don't really use Renault much, and when I do, I probably won't be using her limit break, just because... I don't know, I don't like to leave people in dangerously low health unless it's worth it, like for Squall or Zell's Limit Break, or especially selfies. Um, anyway, so let's leave this place. What a battle, are you kidding me? As I walk off the screen, you gotta be shitting me, dude. So yeah, this place is inflicted with random battles of Galbadian soldiers. I guess that's just to emphasize the fact that Timber is occupied by them. But whatever, let's just attack these guys. Poop! 79 damage. Like, seriously, that little pinwheel weapon that she has is complete and utter bullshit because, like, okay, I don't care how sharp you make that thing, by the time you shoot it and it actually reaches somebody across the battlefield, there's absolutely no way it would have any momentum left to do, to even hurt somebody, 
maybe, maybe if you were lucky when you ran, if you ran up to them and stabbed them with it, it would hurt them a little bit, depending on how sharp and metal it was. But I mean, and the little sound it makes when you attack somebody doesn't help you. It's like, footink. It's like really. I mean, and it's got boomerang characteristics. Like it just comes right back to you. Like, are you kidding me? All right, we know it's level 11 here. That's a little scary. By the time we reach uh, the next sec, by the time we're done with timber, we want to have our levels 19 or lower. That's our goal right now. And uh, that's pretty much the most important thing when you're trying to um, do a slightly low leveled run. And this is the only reason, is because something we're gonna obtain after timber allows us to um, make Squall's final weapon within the first disc of the game. So keep that in mind. Uh, as for now, his sheer trigger you can make. If you actually have the items for his other weapons and you don't have the magazines yet, you can still make it. So, um, what do we need? Four screws and one steel pipe? Yeah. The reason I can't make a lot of this shit yet is because a lot of it is dependent on Quetzalcoatl's card mod ability that we need to be learning. So, as you can see, he's about to learn card. Once he learns card, that will unlock card mod ability, and you want to learn both of those right away. Okay, this is the test. I'm back, but... I'm just testing it. If it works, we'll, we'll run with it, but if not, we got a problem. So lately my HD PVR, as you know it, I don't know, it's just, I tried switching USB ports and apparently that's what was causing the problem, but it like, yeah, as you guys know, sometimes it'll just, well, I don't, yeah, I mean, it does show in the video, but it doesn't show in the video because I cut it out, but like the audio will just stop coming in through my headphones and the recording thing will just stop recording for a second and then it'll pop back like it froze or something. It's just, it's really old, I need a new one. Anyway, like I said last recording session when I recorded these same videos, I realized a little too late that I, Ifrit for some reason was learning Summon Magic plus 10%, and I was like, what, no, what a waste, and indeed it is a waste, so. Oh, we do not want him learning that. He already learned Strength plus 20, which is good. So now I want him to learn HP Junction. Okay, not Strength plus 40. So let's see what everybody else is learning. Move find, good. Mug, good. Card, vitality junction, good. So now whoever's equipped with Ifrit, which is uh selfie, we can now go to junction selfie, and what you do is you junction her ability, which gives her all these. And now I Ifrit has strength plus twenty, so give that to her. Boom. Now she's got twenty percent strength increase, baby. So she's pretty powerful. Anyways, um, so we're gonna check out Timber here for a little bit. See what's going on. Basically what we're trying to do, oh, that was a sneeze. That's much better than the guy who tries to sneeze in Pokemon Red and instead he says ha 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 chew. So it makes you think he's laughing at first, but ah 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 chew sounds better. Anyway, so this is the, this is Timber. This is like the east side, I guess you could say. Um, the Timber Hotel, we can't go in there right now because I don't know, for some reason they don't let us stay at the hotel, I guess because it's occupied by Galbadians or whatever, so um, basically we're trying to find a way to the TV station right now to see what President is up to. Better keep your eyes peeled. If you let one resistance member in here, your dear kids are, well, dead meat. <laughs> okay, asshole. Think you're funny? We have to get to the TV station fast. I can't bear to watch them suffer like this. Well, let's do something about it. What do you guys got to say? So I heard everyone here supports the resistance. You guys are such fools. Just imagine how much this place would thrive if you were loyal to us. This place is going to be stuck in the backwoods forever. Oh, and you? Are you happy with your life? Blindly following orders every day? Doing things you probably don't believe in? Yeah, so what if we're underdeveloped? We're not looking to thrive. All we want is to be able to stand on our own two feet. To be independent and live according to what we believe. Yeah, you tell those assholes. You guys will probably never understand. Having thrown away your pride and dignity, we're not the fools, you are. Oh, hell yeah, dude. You're both dead! Not if I have anything to say about it, fuckers. Turn around and face my pinwheel of death. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so two Galbaldian elites. These guys are pansy ass biatches. We can see Selfie's uh, strength increase though here, if we want to. Yeah, everybody else is still doing pretty weak damage, but we'll take care of that fairly soon. 
And of course, I could just equip Eifert to Squall so that he has uh, increased power. But trust me, Squall will get a power increase soon enough once we are able to... Yeah, she was only doing like 40 damage before, so I mean, of course, 40% or 20% off of our low damage attacks right now isn't really much, but it'll be more later. Anyway, I plugged my mouse into the USB port that the Hub Hodge was plugged into, my capture device, and now I'm looking at my mouse, and usually it like does this glowing pulsating thing. It's a Razer mouse, and now it's like, it's glitching out. It's like... Uh, vibrating and tripping. Thankfully I don't need to use my mouse right now so I don't really care but um, so obviously that USB port is defective as shit. So well, well what are you gonna do right? I do have a USB, USB like hub where you plug it into one USB port and it's like four of them so that's better than nothing I guess because I can't really do anything to fix that USB port it's on the motherboard and I'm not. Thank you for your help I got a little carried away. Yeah, plus you guys have guns. How could you not like... Oh, so we can't leave? That's okay, I understand you guys. You gotta do your job. Alright, so that's pretty much a dead end. They're not gonna let us out, even though we saved their lives. But, you know. So, not really much to do on this side of timber. Except for the weapon shop, but, eh. Not really too worried about the weapons right now. Um, anyway, this bridge area right here, if you leave and come back to it, once or twice here. There should be a person that shows up. Ah, yes, this man right here. Let's talk to him. Oh, uh, hi. No, the, the weather sh sure is nice today. Beautiful day, isn't it? Why can't I say anything interesting? I'm such a loser! Yep, sure enough. Oh, um, no, uh, um, please, take this. Here, well, well bye bye Alright, so obviously this guy's hot for Renault, therefore he is an enemy of ours. But every time you come back here, he will be here, um, like later times you come to this place. And if you have Renault or Quistus in your party, who he's also apparently hot for, then he will... Uh, I was going to say, is it freezing? No, it just takes extremely long for the battle animation to take place. Yeah, he'll give you a free potion. I mean, potions quickly become obsolete, just like every game that uses potions, but, you know... Um, I'm actually going to run from this battle because I don't want to gain too much experience here. Like I said, we need to, until this timber segment's over, we need to retain our levels of under 19. Of course, that should be easy. That should be really easy, but you never know. What the hell? Fucking birds, dude. They're sitting at my window still, like, fucking or something. Jeez. Okay, anyway, this is the important part of timber. I guess you could say the north side or something. I don't know. Still random battles. Alright, I'm gonna fight this one just because fuck you guys. Alright, I need to start cursing. That's becoming... It's becoming ridiculous, even for my taste. And, of course, I'm just gonna spam attacks like always. I guess I could be drawing semi-crap magic from these guys to equip to my semi-crap stats to make them semi-less craptacular. But, no. Instead, what I'm gonna do is I'm not gonna waste this game getting as powerful as I can every second. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to uberly boost my powers by doing things such as creating the Lionheart on the first disc. So yeah, and um, yeah, I mean, once I run into somebody with really good magic, then yeah, I'll draw. If it's like overly good for that point of the game, like triple from a certain dog canine friend we fight later in the game. Or, you know, things of the such. Yay! I do kind of want to fight these battles for now, though. I mean, I doubt I will get even anywhere close to level 19 by the time I need to be under that, but... And the AP is very nice, so... Alright, so this is the Timber Maniacs headquarters. What can I do you for, honey? Um, better take a look around. Yeah. Okay, so we got a shit ton of magazines here. Oh, these are the battle series. I've read all of them. Of course you have, Squall. Anyway, you want to check one of these piles, though, because... There's a very special magazine. Um, okay. No, I'm not trying to talk to you. I'm trying to talk to this pile of magazines. Received Girl Next Door? What? Girl Next Door? What the hell could that possibly be? Uh, here we are. Naughty Magazine! Nudie Magazine Day! Nudie Magazine Day! Yes, so it's actually a porn. Girl Next Door within the Timber Maniac's place. Crazy. Now, you can't use it. What could this possibly be used for? Well, besides Squall's fapping, uh, it's actually a key item that you use to get a really good triple triad card later in the game, and uh, much later in the game, so we probably won't be dealing with that for a while. But hey, we'll keep it on hand, you know what I mean. Um, anyways, also there is a free actual Timber Maniacs magazine 
right over here. Now, what do the Timber Maniacs magazines do? I don't really remember. I'll do some research on it. I'll let you guys know because I don't honestly remember. It, do it has something to do with something. Just do it. They're easy to find. Oh man, why do Battle Series books sell so well? We're sure living in a terrible age. Well, it's a country inflicted with war. What can I tell you? Um. Hmm. Well, let's talk to him about Timber Maniacs, sure. Yes. Well, okay, that's interesting. Tim Mani. Uh, I mean, I kind of like that better, actually. Tim Mani. Oh, is that so? Really? Well, I didn't really ask for your life story, now did I? I kind of just want to know about the Timber Maniacs. Oh, God. Look at this guy. Squall's face palming over there. He's going to go on forever. Trust me, I've been in these situations in real life. Times where people just will not shut up. Oh, God. So typical. Adults reminiscing and talking on and on about the things they could, couldn't do or didn't do. Yeah, that actually is pretty typical, but hey, you know, I hate it. I do too. I do too. Whew. That was close. Word of advice, you're still young. Don't let your life pass you by. Well, regardless of how annoying he was, that is good advice. Good, good advice. But of course, we're not going to get deep here. This is a Final Fantasy VIII Let's Play, not Let's Retrospect something. Anyway, there's a house further over to the right here, and uh, Watts talked about this for a little while. Um, there's a thing called the Owl's Tear here, and since we can't um, spend the night at the hotel, it's the only way to heal besides potions. And um, you can do this whole side quest to get it, but I'm not going to do it because it's not worth it. It's absolute crap and shit, and I don't want it. And basically, you can get infinite amounts of them. Like, um, after you use one, he'll give you another one. But the cool thing is he has 500 gil in a cabinet, and you can either decide to steal it, but if you do, you can't get any more Owl's Tears from him. It's kind of like the Final Fantasy VII side quest, where, um, not really the side quest, but in the Sector Seven slums, where um, that kid has five gil in his drawer, and you could decide to take it, but if you don't, and you come back later to Midgar, and uh, you didn't take the five gil, then he will have uh, saved up his money and bought an elixir, which is obviously worth a lot more than five gil, so. Um, okay, so apparently the back alley leads to the TV station, and we can see it through her second, this lady's second floor window, so let's go check it out. Oh, okay, well. Jeez, why couldn't I press the button there? It's not allowing me to... That was weird. I was, like, not allowed to advance the dialogue, and it was stuck on her dialogue for, like, a year. Was she doing some animation or something? Alright, so what's up, kids? What are you guys doing? It's not even our kitty, but it's always sleeping on our bed. Can Ooh believe it? He eats up a lot of our food, too! Okay, what is this is terrible. A terrible, terrible thing of terrible example of internet lingo is what they're trying to do here. Alright, so let's check out this window. Bloop! And Squall's head just slides out perfectly, right? Just at a perfect amount of speed. So this is the back alley. You can see a door there that leads out of the back of the pub that gets us here, so that's where we're gonna need to go. There's also some drunkard out there. And I also see a kitty and a save point. Okay, slide your head back in perfectly, Squall make the little window latching sound whatever weirdo doon 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 okay uh yes that's 10 gil please what you're gonna charge me to look at the window hey you at it again uh oh busted nowhere to run oh this is my favorite part of the game right here favorite part well favorite part of the timber segment how many times have i told you not to make me take money from people and she whoops his little ass like he deserves for trying to charge people to look out a window. <laughs> it was a thousand gil before? Oh man. You need more than an ass whooping kid. Oh, I don't know. It's just, I mean, geez. Yeah, of course I don't, dude. You just got friggin' owned. You just got your booty spanked. I don't know. I mean, I'm pro kids getting spanked. I mean, not obviously over the top like every little thing they do but you know when your kids do something bad and they deserve to get spanked I think they should I think it builds character I mean I got spanked and I was I mean look at I turned out fine I mean and look at all the kids nowadays turning out like crap you know so I mean I think it's appropriate but then again nowadays you try to spank your kid and it's what child abuse or something right so <clears throat> Anyway, um, like I was saying, so we gotta look at the TV station, so that's all we really need to do here. We need to find a way to get over to that place. What am I at? Only 15 minutes? Well, 
I had previously recorded like 10 minutes, didn't I? Yeah. We'll just make these nice, even 30 minute episodes, right? Oh, apparently this isn't where that... God, if my phone could not shut up. There we go. Okay, so... Um, yeah, so the train station's that way. I think this way is down to the pub. I don't know where that guy's house is that gives you the owl to yours. It might be one of the houses over by... That was too easy, man. <laughs> For a country bumpkin. Yeah, like a blumpkin. Shut up! Okay, sorry about that, guys. I gotta just turn my phone off when I record. Crap, monkey ass. I mean, like I've said before, nobody tries to, you know, talk to me all day, and then the second I'm recording, it's like, oh my god, let's be friends. Fuck, man. Anywho, we got a battle here with some typical Gobadian soldiers. Apparently they stole something from some guy in the bar. You know, typical assholes, right? I mean, just because you guys have taken over this place, <clears throat> control of it or whatever, doesn't mean you have to treat the people like shit. I mean, that's why they're forming resistance groups, buddy. Maybe if you guys treated them nice, instead of just, like, pushing them around, maybe they wouldn't actually mind you guys. You know... Occupying the area. Douchebags? That's your problem, your D-bags. And once again, we're gaining levels, but it's not a big deal. The A the yeah, the AP is more important than anything. As long as we stay below 19. And hey, we get a Buell card. It's also a shop here. This lady just kinda stood by and watched it all happen. Um let's see what she's got. Uh well remedies are nice. Tents are actually really useful. I kind of want some... Actually, no, I'm okay. We're good. There is a draw point here, though. Of cure. Uh, let's give it to Squalsher. I don't even know. Alright, so the pub. Let's go inside. Have a handy dandy drink at the Irish pub. I've had enough of this city, man. I came from Dollar to have a good time, and now... Trains are no longer running. Can't even stay in a hotel because I'm stupid or visual. Rass back our body and soldiers. And my precious car and stone, this hasn't been my day. Those jerks. Think they can use brute force? So yeah, this guy's upset they took his card, but hey, we got the card back, so maybe if we give it to him. You know? Hey, hey, okay, it wasn't the resistance's fault. We were trying to help you guys. We were doing it for you, you drunk shit. Why don't you get your, uh... Why don't you talk to me when you're sober? Yeah, dude. Yeah. Okay, first of all, before I say anything like that about this, what? Look at the. Okay, the top right wall. Lion, human. What is this? Animorphs? What's going on on that wall there? And why is it there? What's going on? Oh my god, no wonder the graphics are so crap in this game. They had to spend it all on that. Um, anyway, the back door is right there, and uh, this guy is in the way. Um, so there's a few things you can do to move him. The first option, and the more difficult option, is to buy him a drink. So you gotta ask him what kind of drink he wants, but he won't tell you. He'll tell you he likes a certain kind of greens. And, um, so what you have to do is deduce from the kind of green greens he wants what kind of... Or he'll tell you what kind of drink he wants, whether he likes sweet or bitter. And then, um, based on the color of his shirt, which changes, that determines what kind of drink you have to get by him to move. And it costs 100 gil for the drink. So if he says he likes sweet and his shirt is red, you can buy him the Mimit drink. If his shirt's green and he likes sweet, buy him the Tantal. If his shirt's yellow and sweet, buy him the Curiel. Now, if he likes bitter and red shirt, Kraka. Bitter and green shirt, Reagan. Bitter and yellow shirt, Silkis. Now, fun fact, those are all names of greens in Final Fantasy VII that you feed to Chocobos. So anyway, but the much, much easier option and the much more beneficial option is just to talk to him. We need to get through. Hey, bro, I'm not a punk. If you want to go. So the easier option, just tell him about the card. This way, you don't have to spend any money on him. You don't have to do any deducing. And he'll be so happy that we found his card and got it back for him. That he'll let us keep the card. And he'll give us another card, the Tonberry card, and move out of the way. So we spend no money. We get two free cards. And our problem is solved. So, I personally have never bought him the drink, and I never will, because why the hell would I? I mean, it's this option is much more beneficial. Alright, so look at that, we're outside. Uh, uh, I feel sick, ink, I drank too much, uh, drunkard. Oh, look, it's the kids that got whipped. 
Yeah, you can uh, you can talk all the smack you want, kids, but guess what? You got spanked, and I got to watch. Okay, so this is the save file I start off here, and just in case something goes terribly awry this episode, I'm gonna save over this. Much like I did last time. So 706, last time I saved here I was. <clears throat> oh no, that was on the way back. Okay, so I'm making terrible time. Da 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 da, shut up kids, your text is blocking my screen. Alright, and look at this, more crap. And hey, it's the TV station, the way to the TV station at least. Let's head up. Oh, wait, that's probably the end of this episode. Okay, so I will see you guys next time on Let's Play Final Fantasy VIII. Goodbye.